you ever known a fellow like Phil, who waited too long to ask a girl to a dance at school? You've got to give him credit for trying. But today, he's a loser. And his friends aren't making it easier for him. Another try, with no better luck. You can't blame Phil for wishing he'd behaved differently. Thinking back, he realizes that his friends might have been able to help him with the problem. Or at least he could have walked out without pushing people around. But that's not what Phil did, and he knows it. Is he starting to question his actions? To wonder whether his behavior was immature? Meet Betty, moping because no one asked her to the dance Saturday night. She wants a shoulder to cry on. But her mother isn't offering her sympathy. She's having too much fun with an old friend. She thinks, mother always acts so silly with Mrs. Harris. Shouldn't they act more like older women? No, that doesn't seem right either. Maturity means something more than how old you are. How should women their age act? Maybe there's no set rule. Maybe life is made up of different circumstances calling for different kinds of behavior. Perhaps relaxed. perhaps respectful. Perhaps businesslike. Or perhaps friendly. All can be mature actions at the right time and place. They're old friends. What's wrong with their having fun? Maturity isn't just how a person acts. It's how he and others feel about those actions. Everyone feels emotional when something happy occurs. When something frightening happens. Or when something tragically funny takes place. But people behave differently. Some show the first feeling they have. And sometimes their reactions cause pain. But other people bring their first reactions under control quickly, try to help or to reason things out. It's no use saying, be mature, or act maturely. There's no rule for maturity in young people, or adults. It's something a person works out on his own, perhaps by thinking things over when upset or excited. And in the end, the more mature the behavior, the more pleasant life can be for that person, and for others too. George, Tom, and Hank have been friends for three years. 
long enough to learn each other's sensitive spots. For instance, though Tom wants to be an athlete, he's not too good at sports. Okay, it's true. But Hank is wrong to rub it in. It makes Tom mad. And he thinks he'd like to fight Hank. But he doesn't. The conversation changes and the tension is easing up. And now that it's all over, Tom feels better. Glad that he waited and held back instead of making trouble. Sally wants to go to her club meeting an hour early. That's when they're planning entertainment for the dance. But she's got about an hour of geometry homework to do. That's her choice, the homework or the meeting. She tries to work it out on her own. Maybe she can leave the meeting before it's over, come home a little early. Or maybe her mother will let her stay up late after the meeting to do her homework. Maybe that'll be okay. Or maybe she can come to the meeting late, but still get in on planning the entertainment. Maybe that'll be all right with the girls. Maybe not. Is there a different solution? Maybe Margot Carlson will let her copy her homework. It's an easy way out, but she knows it's wrong. Sally doesn't want to ask about staying up late, and she's afraid to come to the meeting late. And the situation is more difficult because the choices are not equally mature ones. Here's Phil again. Remember he was looking for a date? Well, he's got one. With Betty. He doesn't especially like her, but she's okay. You guessed it. Someone he really does like has called back she can make it to the dance after all. Will he go with Betty, who said yes first, or the other girl that he likes better? Whatever he does will take some mature thinking. In a way, that's what maturity is, thinking before moving, considering other people's feelings, facing up to tough situations. That's what maturity is all about. Mm -hmm.